So this is one of my most recent purchases off Amazon. Uh, it's part of the Crown Zenith set. Amazon was having a sale where you spend a hundred and you get $20 off. So I decided to just stock up on a bunch of Crown Zenith. Uh, I think you guys know by now this is my favorite set and I'm trying to collect as much of the, the set as possible. I've already gone through all the tins multiple times. I decided to get VMAX boxes and the pins, the blister pins, and also the Morpeco that comes with the playmat. I'm gonna open two of these up today and then we'll go from there. It still didn't end up being an amazing deal. It's still over $4 a pack. Uh, I have Prime, so I didn't have to pay shipping. That helped a lot, but you know, there aren't a lot of ways to get your hands on Crown Zenith for cheap. Uh, there are no booster boxes, so you kind of have to go this route. Um, I don't like the trainer boxes are are already hard to find, and we're we're talking about the regular trainer boxes, not even the uh, not even the Pokemon Center exclusives. Uh, as far as like jumbo cards go, I'm surprised at how much I like this one. I usually could care less about them, but you know. This brings my total. I have so that means so I have about three of these Pikachu V Max boxes now, because if you remember, I got another one earlier that I kept sealed. I'm probably keeping one of them sealed. I feel like uh, a product with Pikachu on it and promo cards is. I feel like a product with Pikachu promo cards and Crown Zenith packs is gonna do really well in the future, so. I could see this doubling in price, if not tripling. Here's a pack card. It's a nice promo card. I know people, uh, a lot of people think these promo cards are kind of worthless, but you'd be surprised at how well they do in the long term. When I, my first video that I uploaded, a lot of the cards that were at the top end of my uh, value rankings of everything that I own were promo cards. Uh, and this one is kind of like etched. It has a texture to it. It's pretty cool. So here's this. I can barely see it. I'm sorry. But it's really nice to actually see the jumbo version of this. The details really come out. So our hit rate has come down ever since we first started opening these Crown Zenith packs. Uh, we were killing it. Every booster pack opening was like well above what I paid. Uh, but, you know. As expected, that came down. What is in store for us today? Nice Graveler. Already have this Reverse Holo. Nice, I don't have this one. I'll take it. I think I saw something back there. I could be wrong. I don't know, that looks like something. Oh, I, I definitely saw something shiny. I don't have this one, I don't think. Have that. I'll take that. Ooh. I don't even remember if I have this one. But I will definitely take that. Pack number three. I'm gonna make a video in the future on where I see these, uh, where I, on where I see these uh, TCG live cards going. I'll take it. Oh, bust. Not great so far. Okay, one, two. 
Oh, we got something back there. Dunsparce. Do I have this? I don't even know. It's a nice ditto, too. I don't remember if I have that Dunsparce. I think I do. Okay, last pack from this box, and then we'll open the next box. I know my videos are getting a little repetitive because all I'm doing is opening Crown Zenith packs, but stick around for the end. That part is never repetitive. I go over all my uh, investments and how they're doing so far, my latest purchases. Radiant Charger Bug. That's cool. I'll take it. I'll take that. As long as we get some new cards to help complete my set, I'm 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 doing well. Compare and contrast. They're really similar, identical. This one does have a scratch up here that I just noticed. You can see it right here. Compare that. I'm definitely keeping this one. These both look pretty good. There's not much to say about those. All right. So as I was saying, I'll I'll make a future video on these things here and where I see the live TCG game going. Uh, there are some hints on what Pokemon is planning to do out there. And uh, I'll go over what I think the smartest thing to do would be or what seems to be inevitable. By the way, did I do the four card thing? I don't think I did. Did I? I did. I'll take that. But yeah, as far as hints go, um, you have to be really aware of tech nowadays and some stuff that's really made headlines in the past few years to know what I'm hinting at, but I'm scared to even say it. I feel like it's going to... I feel like a lot of people are going to tune me out or, or never listen to me again or think I'm... Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Uh, the word... The, the thing that I'm thinking of is a very dirty word to Pokemon fans, so I don't even want to go there yet. But I'll make a special video for it where I explain myself clearly and hopefully people aren't disgusted by me by what i'm saying about the precious pokemon card game what am i doing here okay by the way it's not a, actually a dirty word what i was referring to earlier it's more of an acronym so that's it. That's all I'm going to say. You guys figure it out or stay tuned. Nice. I don't think we had that one. So since I'm still new to this hobby, what, you guys tell me what you think. What is the ideal way to collect or, or display your cards, your set, if you're looking to complete a set? Which ones do you put on display in your binder? Is it the reverse hollows or the normal hollows? Because it seems like reverse hollows go for more on average. Worthless. Great. Great. A V Star card. That will come in handy when I never play. Okay. I'll take it. Another Rayhan. Raihan. Sorry, butchering it. 
So we got two Ray Han trainer cards. Not bad. This feels like a good pack. Oh, I saw something. I saw a black border. Let's do this last one slowly. that's going for that's awesome Hatterin 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 eh? you guys can make fun of me all you want I don't care that I'm butchering the names not a bad not a bad haul today hey guys so this RCS V star box was on sale at a great price. I couldn't pass up the opportunity to get this below market price. Uh, so I hopped on it and uh, I bought one more Galarian tin from Crown Zenith. So now I have two of each bird and I think that will look great down the line when I go to sell these. I can maybe sell the trio if I wanted to or package them individually. But yeah, small update for this week.